you mentioned confession. Uh, that's another, I think, topic that can be a bit controversial to those who don't understand it. Right. Um, what role does that have in, in wiping away our sins, and is it scriptural? Well, absolutely. Um, there's no question. You only have to look back, and we'll take, uh, we'll take John 20, for example. All right, this is Pentecost. Our Savior returns to his apostles and tells them to go out there and heal them and forgive them of their sins. Whatever mm -hmm. you bind is bound. Whatever you leave unbound is unbound. Whatever you forgive is forgiven. Whatever you don't is done. Mm -hmm. But we've got to understand something, too, Joshua, and this is where Christ is human and divine. There's redemption and salvation. There's confession and forgiveness. Right. Forgiveness comes from our Lord and Savior. But he did tell us there's a means in which I want you to go about this. Mm -hmm. Do you think that he was talking to those 12 apostles and only those 12 at Pentecost when he said, go out and heal them and forgive them of their sins? Mm -hmm. What okay. sins you forgive will be forgiven. forgiven and what you leave uh, right, unforgiven, will remain so. The, in essence, was he talking just to those 12 that mm -hmm. after, after John, the, uh, the youngest, passes away on Patmos, that's it, nobody has it no more? Right. Absolutely not. He knew this was for all time. Hebrews 5, I will choose priest among men for the sacrifice and forgiveness of sins. Mm -hmm. No one, no one must take this upon themselves. Mm -hmm. Sounds pretty profound. Right. Okay, you can go back to the Old Testament, Leviticus, Leviticus 5, Leviticus 6, where it says I, th there will be priests for the forgiveness of sins. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this has been going on through all, through all times. Now, St. James will tell us, you must confess your sins to another. Now, I, I also have heard the other, ad, other side of it. Uh, well, St. James is the book of straw. Okay, mm -hmm. actually what Luther said was it's a mite straw-y. Mm -hmm. Okay, but... It's divinely inspired straw, mm -hmm. okay? You can't pick and choose which ones you believe is more divinely inspired than another. Right. The reason they have problems with it, because it's talking about the confession of sins mm -hmm. and not just simply saying, I can go directly to the good Lord, mm -hmm. okay? Nowhere in Scripture, Joshua, nowhere in Scripture, from in the beginning in Genesis to amen in Revelations, does our Savior ever say, confess your sins only to me, Right. okay? It's not a question of forgiveness comes from him. Well, it's, it's, it's funny how, how some people, they don't have a problem with going to a priest or, or their pastor whenever they want to get married, you know, right. or, or, or means like that. But when it comes to the confession, it's like, oh, no, that's a personal thing that I'm going to do on my own. Well, if it's a personal thing, why don't you just go with your girlfriend and say we're married now because it's a personal thing? Right. It, we, we are, we, we love to pick and choose. Right. Uh, you know, Peter uh, tells us, it's either in First or Second Peter, tells us there are no personal interpretations of Scripture. Right. But we, we, have, we have a tendency to run right past that. Mm -hmm. um, there is no question that our Savior from Hebrews 5 to um, either 1st or 2nd Corinthians that says that the ministry of reconciliation has been given to us. Mm -hmm. That, look, he's just given you a means to go to discuss it with somebody. Right. Because let me tell you why, as Catholics, we believe it's important to go to confession. One, you get to heal the wound mm -hmm. that you've been causing you the problem. You receive grace. So on top right. of our nature, as broken as we may be, grace builds. And as a result of grace building, we have more strength to continue on to fight the good fight, Right. okay? And as a result of it, if we want to talk about being close to our Savior, well, let's face it, Proverbs tells us that the average holy person, Joshua, average holy person, sins seven times a day, hmm. seven times a day. Don't go to confession for a year, 365 days. We're yeah. talking 2,500 right. <laughs> sins, if you will. Yeah, Can you imagine driving a car with 2,500 love bugs on your windshield, <laughs> you, you, you're going to wreck. It's inevitable. Yeah. Well, that's what he's saying. Go to confession, put it on the table, mm -hmm. be done with it. Receive your absolution, pray your grace. Mm -hmm. Okay? Because I tell you what, what's at stake here. If, as a person, you believe that I can confess directly to the good Lord, mm -hmm. what are you going to say if, you, if that person and I were standing before the good Lord? And he's going to turn to him and the person will say, well, good Lord, I've been confessing my sins directly mm -hmm. to you. If the good Lord says, fine, come on in, well, that's great, obviously. If he turns to me, I'm going to say, look, I'm just following your rule book that you gave me for 2,000 mm -hmm. years. But if he doesn't turn to you and say, well, why didn't you follow my rule book, what's our answer going to be? Mm -hmm. Well, I just chose not to believe it.